Thanks, Nikki. In politics this week, thousands of protesters are celebrating as it was announced that construction on the Dakota Access Pipeline has been suspended for the time being. The United States Army announced that it will not allow developers to build a portion of the Dakota Pipeline under Lake Oha, which directly affects the Standing Rock Tribe Reservation. However, protesters cannot give up their cause just yet. Plans for the pipeline have not been demolished. Instead, the decision requires more deliberation and will be put on hold for the time being. The pipeline is still proposed to stretch 1,172 miles from North Dakota to Illinois. There's a, report, there's a reported 7.4 billion barrels in the North Dakota oil fields that has yet to be discovered. Protesters have been pleading their cause since April. Through media outlets such as Facebook, this gathered national attention. Although nothing is set in stone, protesters can enjoy a small victory for now. It's no secret that President-elect Donald Trump has a very specific view on climate change as he once tweeted that climate change to be a hoax. However, he seemed to rethink his stance when he met with Al Gore this past Monday to talk about the problem that climate change proposes. Gore first met with Ivanka Trump and afterwards had a lengthy discussion with the president-elect himself. Trump then admitted that there was some connection between carbon dioxide and the role that humans play in global warming. Trump is slated to have other meetings with officials this week to discuss issues such as police safety and statehood with the mayor of Washington, D.C. These meetings may be the first step towards putting policies in place once Trump is sworn into office in January. In the midst of the 2016 presidential campaign, there have been many different conspiracy theories that have circulated around the internet. They cover a variety of topics, but are mainly centered around former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and her campaign party. These theories are spreading like wildfire among people who want to believe that they're being deceived by the government. In the latest of these theories, a man with a fully loaded assault weapon charged into a pizzeria in Washington under the impression of a theory called Pizzagate, which once again centered around Hillary Clinton and her team. With the availability of information instantaneously, it is becoming increasingly difficult not to be inundated with miscommunication and information. Discerning fact from fiction has been a large problem over the course of the presidential race and will continue to be as conspiracy theories will continue to flourish. Last week, it was announced that Wisconsin would be taking place in recounting the votes from the presidential election. So far, six counties have completed recounts and nothing has changed to diminish the lead that Donald Trump had over Hillary Clinton. In a state from Dane County Clerk Scott McDonald, the voting machines are extremely accurate and voter intent is clear. According to McDonald, the recounts have gone smoothly. There have been no reported issues after a week of recounts. The recounts started Monday and the state has until December 12th to finish, while Pennsylvania and Michigan are expected to have their votes in by December 13th. Predictions that the recounts won't change the result of the election are slowly coming true. And that is all we have for you this week in Pointer Politics. We will be right back after the commercial break. 